So I want to share a tiny Python script that I made. Um, I want to explain a little bit about what it does and uh, what code I used. So, um, first of all, don't bash me when I'm going to explain the code because I'm a complete beginner at this. It wasn't until uh, like two weeks ago that I found out what a terminal even is. Um, Actually, our bioinformatics teacher made us blast into Mac terminal, so I had to learn how to to do a basic command in uh, in terminal. And in exchange, uh, I don't know. I figured I should learn a little bit of programming, and I chose Python because actually it sounded cooler <laughs> in my ears than uh, Java or C++. I didn't even know what a scripting or programming language even is. And uh, what you're gonna do? I chose Python. So this is the tiny script that I made. I made it into an exe file using pi installer. Uh, the program is called. Uh, what it does is basically it compiles all of the required files uh, that you that you're using to to run your Python script into just one executable file. So basically. It's it compiles everything, so the, the script, the modules that you're going to use, everything, it just compiles them into a single file that anyone can uh, can use and uh, execute. So let's double click on it and see what, uh, what we have. Okay, as you can see, this is practice, terminal a tiny up. Python script that can analyze a DNA sequence you input or convert that sequence into amino acids. Please choose whether you want to analyze DNA or convert DNA to protein. So this is practice. I called it practice because that's what I'm doing. I'm practicing. Um, as you can see, the first uh, the first thing it the program does it it prompts a little menu that you can choose here from DNA, protein, or quit. Let's just choose DNA for analyzing a DNA sequence. Please copy paste the genetic code to be analyzed. Type done and then enter after you have finished pasting the sequence. Right, so we're just going to need a DNA sequence to analyze. Let me just paste this. So this is the AMPR gene from, uh, from a plasmid. As you can see, this is the whole DNA sequence right here. What I'm going to do is hit enter, type done. The complete number of base pairs again. in the sequence is 861. CG content in the sequence is 49.36%. Your sequence is larger than 60 base pair, thus your basic melting temperature is not calculated. Do you want to paste a different sequence or get back to main? Right, so the DNA analysis, what it does, it, it outputs the number of uh, base pairs, the complete number of base pairs, so we have 861 here. Uh, it also tells you the the separate numbers of A, G, C, Ts, and Ns, which uh, N uh, stands for uh, any nucleotide. It gives you the CG content, uh, the melting temperature here. When uh, you calculate the melting temperature, actually, I use the three formulas. Uh, one formula is um, from sequences ranging from 0 to 4, well actually 1 to 14, from 14 to 60 and above 60 you cannot calculate uh, actually the melting temperature. You have here the complement or the bottom strand sequence uh, as you can as you know or probably you should know DNA is double stranded so you have a top strand of uh, nucleotides and a bottom, st a bottom strand which is the complete reverse of the top strand. So this is the, um, the complement, the complete reverse of the, of the top strand. You have the reverse sequence, or the sequence read from the, um, the end to the start. So basically you have A, A, T, G, G. See, A, A, T, G, G. And you have the reverse complement. Of the given uh, of the given sequence, as you can see, it prompts the menu again. It says here, choose if you want to analyze DNA, convert DNA to protein, or exit. Well, actually, it should say 
do you want to paste a different sequence or you want to get back to main? But this is probably a, just a tiny bug that I'm gonna fix uh, really soon. Uh, so as you can see it prompts another menu, so if you want to uh, analyze a different sequence you can choose yes, main or quit. Let's just choose main and choose to analyze the protein this time uh, or convert the DNA to protein. Please copy paste the genetic code to be analyzed. Type done and then enter after you have finished pasting the sequence. Right. So it prompts you again to paste the, the sequence. We're just going to use the exact same, uh, same one that we used before. Right? Oops, the, the sequence here. So I'm going to type enter, done, and enter These again. are the codons that form your protein. The protein sequence and the length of your protein is as follows. Do you want to paste a different sequence? Right, so the protein conversion tool in uh, the script, what it does is basically it gives you the, it splits your sequence into uh, individual codons. A codon is actually the a sequence of free uh, base pairs. So here you have for example, the start codon, which is an ATG codon, and the stop codon of our particular gene. If you don't know what a codon is or the genetic code, I uh, would strongly advise you to read up on it. It's, uh, it's extremely interesting, actually. Uh, here we have the protein sequence spelled in um, in the amino acid, the one letter code, we have the one letter code and we have the three letter code. So for example, here K stands for lysine, uh, which has the one letter code K and the three letter code, code is L-I-S. So basically it's like L-I-S. Let me, let me see if I can type here. No, I cannot, I cannot type here. So yeah. So basically this is the program, it gives you the protein sequence and the complete number of amino acids in your, uh, in your protein sequence. So right now we should choose quit, because this is the whole program. And as you can see it prompts the, an end statement here. Right, so this is my tiny program that I wanted to share with you. Let's uh, have a closer look at our code here. I used brackets. For, uh, as my main text editor. As you can see, I imported the OS here just to, uh, to get my Mac to speak. So for the say command, so this OS system say, I printed a little tiny, a little ASCII script here, or ASCII art, which I think it's uh, pretty cool. Um, I defined some statements here or functions, so speak DNA and print DNA that I uh, used the most often in the program. And this main main is my main function here. So this is basically the whole program. Um, let's, uh, let's have a look at it. All right. So this questions, inquire, import, inquire, this is uh, the tiny menu. Basically, it's how you cho choose yes, main, DNA, or protein. This code right here. So we, you can see we have an if statement. So if answers DNA, then go to function DNA. So I have two functions, uh, functions here and an if statement. So if it's DNA, else it's protein. So it basically splits the program into DNA and protein right here. L if or else if and. Let's have a look at the DNA part first. First of all, as you can see we have an input, so please copy paste the genetic code to be analyzed. This is, this is your input. What I did firstly was to convert the string or the input into a list so I can count the list and do some basic math with the list. So this is the code I used to create the, to create the list. Um, as you can see here, it counts the number of AG 
Tn's in both upper and uh, lower lower case. Um, it uh, sums them up, and this is the calculations for the for the melting temperature and for the CG content and ATGC content, for example. So these are the farm formulas. This is an if statement. So if um, well, the value um, of y, y is right here. So y is the sum of all the um, of all the base pairs is smaller than 14. Then you have a formula to calculate the your basic uh, uh, melting temperature. L if is in range of 14 to 61. You have a different formula, or else. It cannot be calculated. All right. Then the complement or the bottom strand of uh, my sequence is I used uh, an, um, some elif statements here. So for J in string complementary, so in the upper string, is if uh, A, if J equals A then print t so these are the complete opposite so the complementary nucleotides here this is the reverse sequence i use this to um, to define the reverse sequence okay and this is the so i printed the and the reverse complement basically the sequence in reverse but for every A you have a T and so on, for T and A, so on, so on. And if and then you have the, the closing statement with the with okay questions, yes, main or quit. So here was the bug I was talking about. So it should say, do you want to paste a different sequence or get back to main? Let's just correct this here. Stop copy this. Paste it in the message right here. Okay, so this is, should be the message. Right, so lo let's close the DNA function. Uh, then we're going to have the protein function. What this does basically the whole thing all over again it converts into a string it converts into a list etc etc here we have the the genetic code which uh, i defined as protein which is a dictionary here we have the translation and if protein dna so if the codon equals a stop codon as you can see we have like three stop codons here tga ta and tag so once um the program reads a TAA, a TAG, or a TGA from your pasted sequence, it stops translating. Um, okay, then you have, uh, you, you're gonna print your protein sequence. So basically what this, the translation of this, and you're gonna pre print the, the length of the sequence. Then it's gonna take you back again to the um, tiny menu, if, L, L if, L if, so you want to get back to the main, or you want to paste a different sequence, or else just end, right? So this is the final L if statement with the end, right? So this is the main main, this is my program. So yeah, um, this is the the tiny script that I made of course I'm gonna make improvements in the future in both uh, both in graphics and in um, I don't know the way uh, the DNA is, is is analyzed maybe I can uh, introduce some I don't finding finding some open reading frames or stuff like that but for now I think uh, I think this is pretty cool for what I know until now so yeah have a good one.